Post Life. So earlier we asked you, do you have any purchases that you regret? I had said oftentimes food, it's just not as good as you hoped. Your car. My car. I think my hiking boots was another Ooh. one that I bought before where like sometimes, I, I know, in my heart, I know that you want to go practical, not stylish, but they were cute. <laughs> so I bought them. Account later. And then they hurt your feet and they're mm -hmm. also expensive. So. Uh, isn't that the worst? Yeah. Uh, you're like, where'd all my money go? And you're like, oh yeah, those <laughs> like, ah, terrible yes. boots, that nasty food. Oh, the worst. But like we said, we know you have some great answers. So our field correspondent, Maya Henry, went out and asked you, what purchases do you just regret? All right, Paige and Leah, I'm currently here with Jeremiah. So Jeremiah, what is a purchase that you regret making? Um, these fries I got like 10 minutes ago, they were like $6 and I'm still hungry. Anastasia, yes. what is a purchase that you regret making this year, past years, future? So I went to the mall and I bought this shirt from this really expensive store. It was like $50 shirt and I never wore it, ever. It's literally sitting in my closet, it's been there for like three years, never wore it. Okay, why didn't you wear that $50 shirt, girl? I put it on and then I was like, you know what, I don't like it. <laughs> Did you return the shirt? I lost the receipt. I All right. my money. <laughs> well, well, now you know. Keep your receipt. Well, last week I went to Six Flags and I bought a pair of sunglasses and they were $10. I didn't, I, was, I didn't use them, so I gave them to someone else and they, now they use them. Vivian, what is a purchase that you regret making? Uh, probably one of my like six surfboards. I probably didn't need it, but it was just so tempting. It was there and I was just, I'm ready to buy it. Okay, so, so you surf. Is it like your full-time gig? Is it just something, a hobby you like to do? Like, girl, what is it? That's so cool. I've been doing it since I was little, and then I just, I could never shake it, and it's a really expensive hobby. $5 slice of pizza. Why? It wasn't good? It didn't make you feel good? It wasn't good, and it was too much. Oh, you make fun of me for this, but I, I bought a vibrating hairbrush, because it was supposed to, like, um, massage your, like, head while you're brushing your hair, but um, <laughs> I used it twice, and it didn't work after that. <laughs> But did it get the tangles out? I, th I think it made it worse. <laughs> All right, so for future references, stick with a brush, a comb that does not vibrate. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for interviewing with us. So a lot of food uh, answers there. It's because I think food speaks to the soul. Yeah. And when your food is disappointing, like that can really, food can make or break your mm -hmm. day. If you've got a bad meal and it was expensive, that's it. Go yes. back to bed because the day is over. <laughs> well, you know what I was thinking about too while we were watching that is um, if you ever go to like the bar, right? And mm -hmm. maybe it's a new one and you're out with friends so you feel like you have to buy something and the drinks are like $16. Yes. And then the next day you're like, why did I not just have a water? I've or definitely <laughs> had that happen before. Yeah, where like you go to a new place. Yes. You're like, oh, this is like the atmosphere is really cool yes. and fun. And then like the food is mid yep. and the drinks are expensive and you're like, oh. And you paid a hundred bucks no. for it. Yeah. The worst. Yeah. So, hey, we've all been there. Don't. Don't beat yourself up about it, you know? Hey, just go back and watch that video. A lot of people <laughs> yes. have those regrets. What you're not going to regret is staying right where you are and watching more Coastline. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.